Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to recreate this easy blue winged liner. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. Don't know what First we're going to start out with our foundation and we're going to be using a flat top kabuki brush and I'm just blending this into my skin, making sure that I'm buffering it nicely into my skin and down my neck so that we don't have that sort of mask effect. Now I'm going in with my Collection Studio uh, Concealer and I'm using this to highlight my face so I'm bringing this up along my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. I find doing this just makes it look a little bit more natural rather than just having that highlight under your eyes. I'm now just going to set all that down with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. This powder gives me a really nice full coverage look to any sort of foundation I use, so I like to use this when I'm wanting a little bit more coverage. I'm now going to set my concealer with my Bare Minerals, um, what is it, Well Rested Concealer. Um, I like to use this because it just brightens under the eyes. Now I'm going in with my eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I like to keep them a little bit natural sometimes so I'm not going to be using a powder as well. I'm just using the pencil to um, define the brow and fill in the front section a little bit because that area is most sparse for me. Now going in with my Estee Lauder palette in Desert Heat. I'm just taking that neutral shade and I'm just going to run that through my crease. I'm using this as a transition shade for any other colours we're going to be putting on top and I'm just using a big fluffy brush just to really blend that colour out so it's nice and seamless um, so and that there's no real choppiness seen throughout the crease. I'm now going in with a denser brush with that darker brown colour and I'm placing that on the outer corners of my eyes and blending that slightly into the crease. I'm using this colour to just give a little bit more definition to my eyes. I'm not wanting anything too dramatic because I want the main focus to be the blue liner. Maybe we'll open these wounds, we're only alive if we bruise. So I lay down this armor, I will surrender tonight. Before we both live. Now I'm just going in with a matte white shadow, and I'm just pushing that on my eyelid and blending that into the outer corner. I'm also going to use this colour in the inner tear duct and also underneath my brow bone. And like always, going in with a fluffy brush to blend that all out. Now for the exciting part, I'm using my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Electric Blue. And I'm using this with a angled definer brush. And at first I'm just pushing this colour into my lash line and slowly going to start winging it out. My only tip with creating a wing liner like this is just creating small strokes at a time. This way you have more control over your brush and product placement. For me, I'm aiming for my wing to meet the tail end of my eyebrow and this way it gives me a good guide so that I can also match up the other eye so that we are symmetrical. Watching what you know out to see You can see your life out the window tonight If I lose myself tonight It'll be by your side I lose myself For today I'm going to be bringing this wing all the way into the corner of my eye I wanted to try and get this product as pigmented as possible but it wasn't as pigmented as I was wanting so after creating the wings I actually set it with a blue eyeshadow which I'm going to be showing you soon. Hey. 
like I said before, I'm just trying to meet the eyeliner up with the tail end of my eyebrow. That way we should ensure that both wings are the same, but if they're not, I'm just going back and uh, fixing up the other wing. I'm now going in with a gold cream shadow for my lower lash line. I find using my ring finger for doing this is a lot better because the heat from my hands really helps blend that colour out. So I'm just building the intensity of this gold colour up to however I like it. Now going in with a black eyeliner and I'm just using this to line my upper water lash line just so that I have a seamless sort of liner going on and then for my lower lash line I'm using a nude liner and this is just to brighten my eye. to the face I'm going to lightly contour my face so in the areas of my under my cheekbones um, my temples along my jawline and this just helps give shape to the face and I really love doing this I feel like this really changes the look for me because I have quite a rounded face so contouring really brings out the oval shape in my face Keep trying. I'm now going on with this pretty pink light blush and I'm just going to use this on the apples on my cheeks and blend it back towards my hairline. Now with my ambient lighting palette, I'm using that middle shade to highlight on the tops of my cheekbones and then whatever's left on the brush I'm placing on my nose and then down to my chin. I love using this, this is like such a subtle highlight, it's like you're glowing from within rather than having a shimmery product on your cheekbones. I'm just popping on some mascara and I'm really wanting to coat my lashes top and bottom. Tonight I'll be waiting for you baby come and see we'll start and then we're going in for the lips and I'm going to line my lips with this nude lip liner and then I'm going to just fill it in with this nude whisper balm. It's quite sheer but it's also quite pigmented but I like that it gives me a little bit of a gloss. And that is our finished look. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you would like to see in any future videos. I have some pretty cool ones coming up and make sure you check out my previous videos and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks, bye!